uh, Owen, you need to understand this. Even in our life, there are only two things. One is profoundness of experience within ourselves. People think they are doing different things. Somebody sings, somebody dances, somebody drinks, somebody drugs, somebody prays, somebody meditates, somebody goes after conquest and wealth and whatever. All this is essentially seeking profoundness of experience. You want to experience something more. The man who goes to the temple and the man who goes to the bar, uh, they are looking for the same thing, they want profoundness of experience. One thinks it's in heaven, another thinks it's in the bottle, all right? But essentially, all human experience happens within us. It never happened in heaven, nor did it happen in the bottle. Bottle might have stimulated something, but heaven might have stimulated something. But all experience, pain and pleasure, joy and misery, agony and ecstasy, everything happened only within us. So, profoundness of experience has to happen first. For this, there are tools to see how our experience is very profound. No matter we're doing a big thing or a small thing, mm -hmm. right now you're breathing. Do you think it's a very big thing or a small thing? It's a big thing, yeah. If it's a small thing, you must give it up, I'm saying. <laughs> it, it is the biggest thing you're doing. But a lot of people think that's not good enough. They must be doing okay. something else. If if you understand or if you realize and experience just breathing is such a phenomenal thing. Being alive is the greatest thing that's happening in the universe right now is you're alive, all right? Mm -hmm. So profoundness of experience, there is a way to create this, what inner engineering is about, that you make your experience of life very profound. 